guys welcome back to my channel my name is Emmanuel Ainon today we will be installing pixel the correct way on our website and I'll be showing you how easy it is to do this now if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe hit on the notification bell and you will be the first to receive the next video that I will be uploading after this video now it's important that you install Pixel on your website because you'll be able to run conversion and you'll be able to track. Let me give you for example. Let's say you have a website. This can be anything. This can be for physical product. This can be for you know affiliate product. This can be for maybe service product. It can be for any website. Now, two things you want to do here. Now, let's say this page, you want to track you know our uh, sign up conversion now this page you are currently see this will be your landing page we are going to install pixel on this page then after this we are going to come here again this page which is like thank you confirmation page so if for someone to visit this page that mean they must have come through this page before they can visit this page so this page is what is going to fire is what is going to count on uh, facebook that okay one event has been fired okay that is what we are going to search again this can be this can be your maybe your sales page so if someone now order okay it takes them to this page maybe thank you page so that that will count as or chase okay so that is what we are going to do so you can implement this on any website and again if you don't want to like track or uh, purchase or sign up or you want to know what is going on it's okay for you to just have one event on your website so you might not understand what I'm current what I'm saying right now I'm going to practicalize this then I want you to follow the step by step first what you should do is go to your Facebook, okay? Then here, when you are here, you want to come here, you will see uh, account overview or something, or just click on this all tools there, all tools. Tap on it, then you want to see event manager, event manager. So you click on event manager. Now, Facebook allow you to have one uh, pixels on one ad account, but you can use that pixel on multiple websites. Do you understand what I said? One pixel on one ad account, but you can use that pixel on multiple websites. Then you can track different uh, different activity on that multiple websites. Okay. So if you've not set up your pixel. Just follow the same thing, the same process I'm going to. I already have one pixel set up, but I'm still going to do another one. So you see how easy it is to track everything you want to track. So once this page loads, you want to see this guy at the left here. Let's wait for a second. Okay, you can see uh, this one say connect data source. You can see this one overview. You can see data source, okay? Then you can see custom conversion partner integration. So what you want to do, you want to come to data source here. Take me out of this, I think is Now you want to come to data source here. Okay, you tap on data source. So these data sources, what we do, it will tell you everything you currently have on your website you might have yours empty okay you might have your empty do you understand just follow what i want to do if you have yours empty all you want to do you want to come to connect data source connect data source then you are going to click on website here you know i've already used website here that's why i can you can see you can see this this up you can only create one pixel per account you can see the pop-up here you can only create one pixel an account so if yours you've not done anyone just tap on this then you follow the process but now 
I want to come here, and in case that you've already created data source, you've already have one pixel, but you want to use the pixel on other multiple websites, just follow what I'm going to do right now. So once you click on this guy, this data source is here, then you want to come to, you can see, manage integration. Manage integrations, you want to eat on it. Then after this manage integration, you want to see your pixel here. You want to click on manage, then add to another website. You can see, add to another website, okay? Then you click on it. Now, you that you are just creating your own, the moment you click on that connect data source, then you tap on that website, we are going to be on the same page. We are going to be on the same page now. Then what you want to do after now is click on install code manually. Then I'm going to hit on this install code manually. Then you're going to see this event manager onboarding. Now, can you see this pixel code? It's called base code. Now, what this base code will do, this base code is the main pixel. Is the what, what you can install anywhere, okay? Now, when I copy this base code, you can see it's telling us that paste base code to website. Paste the uh, pixel code into the bottom of the header section just above the head tag. Install the base code on every page of your website. So this is the base code. This can be every page of your website. If you just want to install Pixel on your website. Do you understand? So what we are going to do on this page, we are going to install it on this page. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go to the back end of that page. Then I want to install it. Your base code can be installed in all the pages, all pages of your website. So I want to log in. Then remind me later, continue. So, okay, this is it. This is the back end. I'm currently using WordPress. This is a WordPress website. So what I will do is I'll go to that page and the name of the page is SEO. So I can just go to this page here. Then I select the page. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to install plugins, plugins that can do that for me. So what you have to do is come to plugin, you click on uh, add new plugin. Then you want to select plugins that you can use. So I prefer to use a uh, HFCM, HFCM, head, header, footer, code manager, code manager. So this is what I prefer. You can use any one of your choice. You can use any one of your, of your choice. So all you have to do is to install it install install it so i already have it installed here you can see it here so what you have to do is install it so all you have to do is install then i want to come here i want to eat on add new stiffness because i've already installed it so just install your own it's actually to update so base code can be installed anywhere on your website you can even see that facebook is telling you that you should install the base code on web, install the base code, okay, install the base code on every page of your website. Every page you want this page to be on your website, install the base code there. So base code can be everywhere. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So then let me call it uh, Facebook Pizzle New, okay, Pizzle New site-wide based on this plugin i'm using then i want it to be at the header that is active then i want to paste it here so what this will do is it will install it all the pages of my website then all i have to do is i want to hit on update let's assume that you are not using a uh, wordpress maybe you are using all the all other uh uh, content management system can be Shopify, can be all of those. 
you can still follow the same process. But if you are working on maybe HTML and CSS, all you have to do is come to your code. So I have a simple uh, page here. Okay. Now remember that Facebook is Facebook to also install it on the edge section. So this is X section. You can see this edge, and you can see this edge. All you have to do is paste it everywhere. Paste it here on this section before the close of the air tag. So what this we do is it's going to fire here. Then I'll go to another page. If you have to do this manually when you are working HTML CSS, make sure you paste it on all the pages of your website. So after I have done that, then I will now go to Facebook now. You can see then hit on continue. So the page now, the page I just installed now, we now it will fire here and it will also fire here because we paste it in all the pages of our website. That is the first step. First step is paste the code in all pages of your website. So now the next thing you want to do after you hit on continue, then it will now tell you, okay, now all these guys you see leave it the way it is okay verify that the cost customer information you want to send leave this guy the way it is that you want to eat continue so the next thing you want to do after you are here is please make life super simple so you don't have to you know you don't have to complicate things after you've installed the standard event on all your website the next thing you want to do the url you want to track okay all you have to do is just Click on this, open event tool. You have this guy. Now, if I come to this page here, this is the my thank you page, okay? This is where it will count if someone sign up. This might be your thank you page, other confirmation page. All you have to do is copy the URL here, copy, then go back to this guy. Paste the URL. Then click on open website. So when you are here, you're going to wait a little bit. You will see a pop-up by the left hand side corner here. Okay. Then it's going to tell you what you want to do. Now you can see this guy here, this event. Can you see it's telling us that no event found on this page? Now you can track anything. You can track your button. You can track anything you want to do okay so in this case we'll be tracking url so we select track a url then you can see automatically you pick the url you want to track then the event you want to select select an event so which of these can you see you can select a lot of events okay a lot of events then you want to select lead this is what i want to do so my lead doesn't have any value don't choose value okay then i confirm fine then you can see lead is being tracked on this page so all i have to do is hit on finish setup so is as simple as that then i'm going to click on finish so that is all it so is as simple as that. So from now on, then if you want to now run your Facebook ad, you just go to ad and select this particular one, okay? If it is purchased, go to your ad account, then you select this particular one. And that is what we are going to be doing in the next video. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and be the first to get new video as a job. And if you have question, any question at all, kindly let me know, okay? Comment it and I'm going to respond to you. See you in the next video. Peace.